welcome back. So yes, hey, it's the week of Christmas. Can you guys believe it? It like got here so, so quick, but we're here and I'm ready. I'm ready to go ahead and get this plan with me started. So this is in my B6R Estelle um, with Annie Plans Planner. This is currently um, my catch-all for those of you that haven't seen any previous videos, but let's just get right to it. Um, I can kind of give you a quick flip of, of how I've been using it. Now this um, particular planner it's set up, the first page is usually set up for a weekly overview, but um, this week, for the week of Christmas, I'm going to do it a little different. Instead of having like my weekly overview here, I'm just going to do the whole week on one spread and then use the daily pages, of course for journaling. So yeah, that's how I'm gonna use it this week. And I'm gonna stay um, zoomed out so that, you know, if I happen to go off camera a little bit that you'll still be able to see. So this week I plan on, I wanna use this pretty, pretty, pretty um, decorative kit. It's like a two page kit. This is from Taylor Made Creative planning company, TaylorMade Creative Co. And you've got the, the girl trying to eat the snowflakes. Um, kitties and family members coming home with presents galore. A hot cup of cocoa, coffee. And it says, this girl loves Christmas. And then you have one, the North Pole. You've got a little border here. You've also got some washi your date headers, and some other little decorative elements. And I went ahead and put the date in there so that I wouldn't get off track. And then and also with that tailor-made creative co kit, we've got some um, like snowflake clouds or I don't know what you call them, but I guess snowflake clouds, that's what I'll call them. And then um, Nerds the Word, this little decorative um, corner torn edges here and then I dropped something on the floor hold on I've got some little foiled red header candy cane headers from sticker guru and then just some other little odds and ends I may pull if I need some other kind of boxes I may pull from mojo jojo winter our uh, boxes this is from last year and it's got all the Christmassy colors, the traditional. And then you've got the baby blues. And so this kit, those blues would go so well. And then wondering. So let's go right ahead and get to, um, as I say, laying down the stickers. So are y'all excited? Like excited, excited, excited for Christmas? It is here whether you want it to be or not. Yeah, so um, as you can see, I had to edit out a couple of slides here because I originally laid down some red washi and I just after looking at it, I was just like, that's too much red. So I pull that up and here I am putting down this snowflake, this beautiful foil snowflake washi that was included in that kit from TaylorMade Creative Co. Um, I like how it plays off of the red and it's really, really so pretty. going in now with this simply gilded washi with that baby blue and those silver 
foil bows just really, I think in my opinion, make the entire kit pop. I was also trying to use up some of this Christmas washi because unless I decide to do Christmas spreads all year long, which I'm not going to, um, this washi will remain tucked away in a special place for 2023. So I'm trying to use them. And I was really happy when I saw that the colors coordinated so well with the deco and the stickers in the kit. Next, I believe I'm trying to decide if I'm going to lay down some functional boxes or if I'm going to go ahead and put down some deco. And um, the one thing that I love about using kits is that you have everything there. There's really no need to go hunting for anything, but because I'm trying to use my stash, I'm pulling out these torn washi strips that I purchased from Nerds the Word and if you ever want to try the washi like playing around with the torn washi you can do this with any washi that you already own you just tear it and put it down <laughs> <laughs> That's basically all there, there is to it. Nothing really fancy. And I had a thought. I was like, yeah, I can use that big sticker, but it's going to take up the whole box for Sunday. So I ended up putting it back, saving it for something else. And taking those coordinating, I call them snow cloud stickers. I'm going to use those stickers there, not those, but the ones on the desk, on the desk in the rear, excuse me. I thought it would be fun to take the countdown to Christmas stickers from the winter happy planner book from last year. And I'm going to use those snow clouds as a transparent background just to add in and offset some of the red that is within the spread. Hey, I'm rhyming. Red in the spread. Spread in the red. Red spread. <laughs> oh. And so we're counting down. You guys, it, like I was saying before, Christmas, Christmas got here very, very quickly. I don't know about you all, but I'm still, I still have to do a little shopping, not a lot. My children are older and they would much prefer to get money, so... At least I know that they're going to be happy on Christmas with the money that they're going to get. But I do really miss shopping for the toys. So, yeah, it's kind of sad, but at the same time, a little relieved because at this point, I would probably be one of those in the stores on Christmas Eve trying to pick up those last minute toys so I don't have to do that I can just sit back and relax and enjoy the time off and wait on Christmas Day to get here and speaking of Christmas Day what are some traditions that you all do One of the traditions that we take part in every year is we all gather together and we eat Christmas breakfast um, at my cousin's house. It used to be my great aunt's house, but she's a lot older now and um, has Alzheimer's. So my cousin 
has continued uh, the tradition of hosting it at her house. And we'll all gather and eat breakfast and then we'll go back to our respective homes and relax and kind of enjoy time with the kids, play some games. And then um, we have dinner. I usually host dinner with my husband, my children, my mom, my brother, and my aunt. And, and that's what we do. And then we exchange gifts. So it's a pretty um, fun time of the year to get together with family especially those that live in other states. They usually come in for the holiday, and it's really fun. It's, it's a good time to see um, everyone and have some laughs and some good food. So here I'm just taking the uh, remainder of the little embellishments from that sheet, and I'm just placing them around some of the days on the countdown. So now we get to the step where I am trying to decide whether to go ahead and add my deco boxes or am I going to just um, add my functional boxes. Um, realizing that when a break for my husband begins this week, so I'm using one of the deco boxes to highlight that and it was so cute the picture has like a um, picture of a car with presents on top like to symbolize people coming home for the holiday so I thought that was really cute and it played just into the spread perfectly And you guys, sometimes I just overthink it. I really do. So I'm attempting to add in some other little embellishments. Those little candy cane, cute little candy cane stickers are from Sticker Guru. I believe they were in like a foil grab bag that I purchased some time ago. And I just pulled them out. They, I thought they would be so cute in this spread. Now I'm just flipping through my uh, little booklet that I made of scripts, trying to find something that's super funny and maybe snarky, a little snarky, but I, I enjoy doing this as well. Um, it's always so fun to try and uh, <laughs> jazz up your planner with uh, some little sayings, some little scripts, some little quotes. So I'm just kind of going through, trying to pick out some, some scripts, some, um, Things that just can liven up the spread but of course sidetracked again and I'm like okay yeah let's put this sticker down and I think what I'm going to do here is I'm trying to use some of these decorative stickers and then I'm going to bring in a script sticker or two or three or four and just denoting that Friday is my payday. And, you know, that day, the 23rd, I'm also off work. So that's why I chose that snarky sticker there. Adios. And just flipping through, trying to find the perfect script that will fit in that space. And let me um, point out here that it is don't be afraid to like cut your stickers cut them they're yours you bought them make them fit your planner so yeah go ahead and do some surgery on those babies
And this is precisely what I mean by doing surgery. As you notice here, I am cutting the sticker to try and fit in that little box because it was too long and it was gonna overlap into Saturday. So yeah, make the stickers work for you. You're gonna see me do this a couple of times in this spread. I think that I'm um, also searching for a, um, I think it's a day off sticker. So payday is Friday. Let's see. So let's use um, this for payday. Let's pull this payday payday off of here. We better get paid because uh, <laughs> your girl got to finish some shopping. Payday. Okay, so I got payday down. Vacation. Also, I've got another thing here to do. Um, like a due date, but I can't really tell you what that is yet. But I'm going write it, to write it in. know if I want to use a red one or one of these blue ones or one of these like kind of grayscale ones let's use one of these grayscale ones is that green And that's a reminder that I need something due. Let's see, here's a payday icon as well. Um, let me put this right here, this icon, and then I'll know do today and I'll know what that is do today let's see and a little later maybe or I could put top priority let's just use one of these this is from um Park Lane, you can find this sticker book at Joann's. So let's put that in top priority. And I know what that is. Can you guys see that? All right, and what else is going on? Um, Christmas Eve, I've gotta give the doggies their doggy meds so let's go back I had a little doggy icon down here in the corner I've got to give the doggies their meds when on the 24th So let's just keep rolling with the, let's do a red one this time. We'll do a dark red. And this is my doggy's third birthday. So here's a little birthday icon. 
Is that not cute? Okay, and then let's get a um a red one, a different red one. Cece Bella's birthday. She'll be three. Let me go ahead and put in some. Let's put this down here at the bottom. She'll be three. Put that in the middle. And what else? I've got on the 19th, we've got a new system that we've got to start using at work. So I'll put. Um, let's see, red, blue, red, blue, give me a blue one. That baby blue. Is that it? Yep. So on Monday, we've got... Let me just put Monday at work. We've got a new um, system that we've got to start using. Where's the worky icon? Oh, here she is. And put that in there. So I know what that's for. Um, I've got a bill due. Now, like next week is like big Z. Let me do this here for Bill Do. Let's break that up some. Bill Do. And then I've got another Bill Do on the 22nd. Okay. That looks like it's about it for the bills. So let's put in some more of this deco. And then I think that might be it, except for otherwise denoting that it's Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. We can put On here we can put this one for Christmas Day. Let me see if I can pull that up. Is it gonna mm, nope, it's gonna tear. Oh, I should have used that one. Oh crud. And I really like this girl. Okay. 
and this here. Yeah, that's cute. Use these little and work icons. Work, work, work. I've been trying to use these up and they go with the um, spread here. So let's use these. Work, of course. Mm, let me put work here. And then of course, work. And then work. And they kind of help divide the page. Work. And then work so that adds that just helps split the page up a little more and then let's go ahead and put this gangsta wrapper here because pretty sure I'll be wrapping whatever I buy at the last minute and Just filling up the rest of the empty space here. And these stickers I'm pulling from are from Nerds the Word. Let's see if we've got some other ones. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll be wrapping presents again on Saturday. So let's put that in there. Let's put Christmas shopping, because I do have to finish up some Christmas shopping. And let's see. And then just some other little fun decorative elements. just to help divide the page a little more. Yeah, guys, so that's it. I am already set up for next week, the 19th through the 25th. I hope you guys liked this plan with me. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you're planning on doing for the holidays, whether it's hanging with family and friends or whether it's just chilling and just relaxing for a couple of days. And last but not least, I'd like to wish you all a happy holidays, happy Hanukkah, um, whatever you celebrate. I know Kwanzaa starting next week, so happy Kwanzaa and Merry Christmas. See you guys next time. Bye.